Kang, a small but thriving city which is about 30 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur. Different from the hustle and bustle of big cities, life in Klang is quiet and peaceful. However, it's believed that Klang was the place of origin for a famous Southeast Asia dish. Our story begins from here. Every morning, 42 years old Li Chuan Tech will start his daily operation at 7.30 on time. Mr. Li is the third generation owner of Senghua Bagude, a restaurant founded in 1979, famous for its nearly 40 years experience of making original Bagude. After taking over from his father, Mr. Li has been operating the restaurant for 18 years. Due to the close proximity to the bridge, Mr. Li's restaurant is also popular known amongst the Klang folks as under the Klang Bridge Bagudei. Bagudei is a pork rib dish cooked in broth, seasoned by the herbs and spices. The dish is popular among Malaysian Chinese. In the early 20th century, it set at numbers Chinese immigrant workers who made their living by doing low paying, physically demanding work at the Klang port relied on this cheap and nutritious dish to replenish their energy and strength. The name Bagudei literally translates from Hokkien as meat bone tea. For those people who first heard about it, they might think the dish must be cooked by using tea leaf. But in fact, there is no tea in the dish itself. The origin of the name is related to the founder's name, Li Bundei, Mr. Li's grandfather. Uh, Mr. Li learned the skill of making Bagudei from his father at a very young age. His skill is believed to be the most original one as it was inherited from the founder. The recipe remains a closely guarded secret, but basically, it involves fresh meaty pork ribs, herbs and spices, simmered in the pot for over 4 hours. The kitchen is open type, allowing the customers to observe pork ribs being arranged neatly and stacking out from the bowling bros in the pot. An average of 6 to 7 pot will be sold a day on a first-come, first-served basis. For those people who come late, they might be disappointed. Bagude is normally served based on the various cuts of pork. Each cut has its unique feature and flavor. Big bone is a well-loved cut. The big bone soup is rich of flavor due to long hours stew till the meat falls off from the bone. The juicy pork that is infused with the broth is the favorite for many people. Pork belly with bone has the mix of fat and lean meat. The fat meat is juicy, the lean meat is tender. There is a delicate balance of flavors leading to an overwhelming taste for this cut.
knuckle is the only part that has the combination of bone, meat, fat, and skin for the special taste and texture. This part has a nice bouncy spring in the skin and meat. Fried onion rice is usually accompanied with baku day to eat. Chinese tea of various kinds, for example, the tea guan yin, is also served with the leaf that it dissolves the copious amount of fat consumed in this pork plate dish. The tea has the sweet aroma and flavors, becoming the best partner for baku day. So, that's how exactly a typical Baku Day meal looks like. People used to eat Baku Day for breakfast. As seen from Mr. Lee's restaurant, there are many customers bustling in the early morning. For some of the people, eating Baku Day has become a regular part of their life. 60 years old Dan Sing Lin is one of them. Every morning, he would take his wife to visit the Senghua Baku Day. It has become his habit for 30 years. Every 就坐下了，慢慢休息了，等八点半了才吃肉骨茶了。因为这边我已经吃了三十多年了，我就是比较喜欢这间了，也是说人情味啊什么的啊，坐下来有一班老朋友啊，有的走了走了，有的新的来了